Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nkem Jika Okoye, also known as the Nkem Okoye. I'm a legal marketing queen. I'm a lawyer with over 11 years experience and a digital law practice consultant. I help lawyers to work their income online without doing more work. In today's video, looking at how not to start a digital law practice, you I will show you how to do from confused absolute clarity. I'll show you what to do and what not to do when it comes to building a profitable, thriving law practice online on social media, right? So in the past five years, I've seen many lawyers embrace social media, I've seen them get clients online, attract life-changing opportunities. I've, I've also seen lawyers drop off social media. Yes, there are two sides of the coin. Some lawyers say this is too much work and um, they end up dropping off. Or they say I'm not getting results and they end up dropping off, right? So it's up to you to choose where you want to belong. Do you want to change your life or, or do you want to go back to doing life as you know it, right? So if your goal is to attract life-changing clients online, live a comfortable life, and make money from social media stay with me to the end of this video right i'll be sharing showing you six things to do six things not to do to attract clients online right six, uh, i'll show you six, six six simple things you should avoid doing yes if you want to attract clients or life-changing opportunities online so let's get into it number one is having no clear goal the popular there's a popular saying that says if you fail to plan you plan to fail. The key to achieving the best or getting the results you want out of social media is to have a clear plan of action. What, why exactly are you coming online? Are you coming online because you want to call me an influencer or a celebrity? Why are you coming online because you want to make money? Are you coming online for the likes and the comments? Why are you coming online because you want to change lives, you want to make financial rewarding impact, right? Your goal will help you know how to um, carry yourself online. It will show you how to achieve the results you want, help you create a clear plan of action, what to do, what to avoid to achieve the results you want. So rule number one, you want to bring your law practice online, have a clear goal. Many lawyers fail because they have no clear goal. They just create a social media account, they put a post online, and they think all is well with the world again. Number two is having no clear, no having having no um ideal clients i'm a lawyer i can serve everyone that's what me that's how many lawyers think anyway but um when it comes to making money online attracting clients online selling selling your legal services online it does not work that way. you must know who your ideal client is who are you showing up for it will help you know the legal services to sell to them the legal solution to create the offer to create it also helps you um know how to communicate with them Yes, it helps you know what to sell to them, how to create your content. So you must know who you're showing up for. You must know your ideal client. Saying my ideal client is a business owner is not enough. In the business owner space, we have different types of business owners. We have small business owners. We have early stage founders. We have students who are running a business, stay at home moms who are running a business. But um, if you're, and then we have, yes, we have early stage founders, yes. And we have founders who are already in business. So if your goal is to attract top money, make impact, yes, attract, yes, attract top money, yes, get clients to pay you millions and millions of, of naira or top dollar amount of um, five, six figure, even four figure dollars, um, in, yes, in dollars, you must know exactly who that client is. And your clients must have the financial capacity to pay you what you want right because um if you do not have if your if a client lacks the financial capacity they will not be able to pay and you end up frustrated in your digital law practice so know who this client is can this client pay me what i want are you financially capable take that into consideration when picking your ideal client and be sure that you can help them achieve the results they want enough to say i will, I will save money bags meanwhile capacity wise you lack the necessary capacity to help them achieve results the results they want to help them achieve the necessary outcome you must also, you must also have a clear legal solution many lawyers struggle online because they have a clear legal solutions what's a legal solution a legal solution is um it pro that's a promise legal solution promise legal outcome it is it is it, it is a service yes that you offer clients to help them achieve certain outcomes for instance lawyer business lawyers will say 
I help lawyers register businesses. That is that's a legal service. I help them protect IP intellectual properties. That's that's a legal service. I help them write con create contracts. Yes, I draft necessary agreements, contracts. That's a legal service, right? But what is the end goal of these three legal services? For startup founders, for in this example, the end goal is to help them launch legally protected business. So legal solution, let's say legal solution is um let's call it legally protected, right? Or Yes, let's call it legally protected. Legally protected is a legal solution. Legal, what does legally protected do? It helps startup founders launch their startups on the right legal structure. Yes, so you must know how to sell that um, legal solution to them. You must have a clear legal solution in place so you can sell the outcomes, the transformation your clients are looking out for. It's not enough to say, um, I, I want to help clients, I want to help startup founders register their startups. No, what startup founders are looking out for is they want to launch on the strong legal foundation. So you must sell this outcome. You must sell this certainty. You must sell this result. You must sell this transformation to these startup founders, right? So don't, don't forget that. It's very important. In addition to legal services you're going to sell online, have a promised legal solution that you can sell premium. You can sell high ticket. You can sell to the high value client who can pay you what you want. Yes. And it all boils down to knowing who you're serving. The client you serve will help you know the, the, the um, legal problem you solve or the expected outcome of your clients, right? So the next is, number four is on clear practice area. I've seen many lawyers come online. It's really when, you, when they hold, hold out themselves as um, law firms online, they're all over the place. They try to do um, real estate. They try to do, um, they try to do property law. They try to do business law. They try to do litigation all on the same on the, all in one page. Um, it's it's gonna it it might work in the end, yes, but it's going to be such a struggle because your messaging will be scattered all over the place, and you struggle to get results. For purpose of clarity, to attract the clients you truly want, clients who can pay for legal services, you must hold out yourself as an expert in a certain practice area, knowing your practice area helps you build thought leadership. It helps clients see you as the person who can help them achieve a certain result, right? It helps position you as the go-to person in your practice area. So in all you're doing, pick a practice area and stick to it. Yes, I know some lawyers like, there are too many lawyers in my practice area, what should I do? Stick to that practice. It means that there's money in that practice area because lawyers will not go to practice areas where there is no money. So stay in your practice area, build a name for yourself, attract your own clients, and watch your life change for good. Then um, point number five is creating basic legal content. Oh my God. So many lawyers online share basic legal content. You just, when you scroll through social media, or, or for, let, let's use Instagram as an example. You see, especially people, people, lawyers that hold on themselves as business lawyers online you see almost all of them sharing the same type of content. Almost five lawyers, because I follow a lot of lawyers on social media, you see almost five lawyers at the same time sharing what is trademark, right? If I truly want to register a trademark, I'm a client who's actually looking to register a trademark, the, the, what, the, way, the way many clients behave is, the first of all, ask Google. Google, what is trademark? How can I register my trademark? Before coming on social media, if they see you, and regurgitating the same type of content they've read, they've read on Google, they will just scroll past and look for a lawyer who is actively selling the, the desired outcome, which is to protect their brand assets, right? So instead of saying, what is trademark? Show, show your clients how you can protect your brand assets to, to avoid, to prevent copycats from stealing your brand assets, right? So think deeper, create on your place of your experience, create from Create from yes, your experience, create from case, use case studies, use frequently asked questions, and go beyond the basic legal content. Go beyond basic legal content and create content, the high converted legal content. We, and meanwhile, that is my way of creating content. That's the way I help lawyers also create content online. If you like to create content that same way, read um, the description box. Yes. Then, last but not the least for today is inconsistency. Oh my God. So many lawyers are inconsistent when it comes to building a law practice online. They think social media is, um, is a magic wand. I show up today, I get clients. It doesn't work like that. Sometimes you take months 
It takes months to get results you want. But the, but the thing is consistency over perfection, consistency over frequency. Frequency means showing up every day, back to back. You're creating content, you're sharing content. But consistency means showing up when you say you show up. If you're showing up twice a week, show up twice a week. If you say you show up three times a week, show up three times a week. And be consistent in that schedule. Be consist consistently show up as the best version of you and the clients you want will come. Clients who will pay you top money on top dollar or good money online will definitely scroll through your social media page to see your track history, to see, to see the kind of content you've created, the kind of clients you've worked with, what clients are saying about you, right? So don't be, don't be um, a fair weather lawyer, yes. Don't be the lawyer who is here today and gone tomorrow. Be that digital practitioner or, or be, that, be that digital lawyer who shows up and um, supports her audience and gives them good content consistently. Yes. So I have helped lawyers like you build thriving law practices online. And if this is something you want for yourself, you want me to hold your hand and help you through this process, please feel free to contact me on Instagram, Avinkem Okoye, or send me an email at um uh, send, send, send an email to the at gmail.com. As you can see, here some feedback from the lawyers I've worked with. And um, if you want the same results for yourself, feel free to send me a message and I'll be glad to put you through. See you in the next video. Bye for now.